live. And a developing story tonight. Take a look at this massive fire. It turned a Glendale construction project into ashes. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen live at the scene near Infinity Park, where neighbors got to take a look at the damage tonight. People came home to damage like this. Flames so hot and so fast, they just melted the front of this Range Rover, which is even more impressive when you look at this. The flames were actually going past this fence in this yard here across a four-lane street. That's where the building was burning. And it looked like the 4th of July. Embers falling from the night sky, but this is no fireworks show. Wow. The massive fire comes within scorching distance of Wade Hansen's apartment. All the glass was shattered. Heat so intense it shatters his windows and melts his patio furniture. His dog Tug sounded the alarm. He never jumps up on the bed like, like he did, and he kind of, you know, did a little bark. And I need you 15 for rooftop ops. By that time, the four-story townhomes under construction across the street are engulfed in flames. <laughs> Firefighters in a desperate battle to keep the fire from spreading to apartments across the street and next door. Came in house just bright red. Lynzette Hawkins rushed to wake up her so granddaughter as heat you know, warps their blinds. You know. I had half a boot on when I started running out. <laughs> in the end, firefighters evacuate a hundred people, kicking in doors. And while Denver Fire and the ATF investigate the cause, people who live nearby are suspicious. It spread too fast and too far. Since it was all engulfed all at the same time. It was arson. I'm thankful that nothing, you know, that the place yeah. didn't burn. We didn't get hurt. At least eight cars were basically melted in this fire. Fortunately, no one was hurt. First thing tomorrow morning, Denver Fire and the ATF will be out here to investigate using heavy machinery to sift through what's left of the debris and figure out what started this fire. Reporting live in Glendale, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.